Hey y'all, this is Fidel with El Royal Mobile Detailing. I am about to give y'all a quick little tour of my trailer and just overview of the setup inside of it that I use day to day when I'm detailing customers' vehicles. All right, so here is my mobile detailing trailer. It is a six by 10 trailer. It is a tandem axle. I wanted to make sure it was strong enough to carry my 150 gallon water tank when it's full. I'm gonna take it around the back. So as you can see, I have the barn doors on it. Got some spray bottle holders here. Two of those from Max Shine. Just some Zep bottles that I fill with chemicals from various companies. Jack's Wax is one of them. I have a local Jack's Wax that I use for a lot of supplies. And here is the working end of the trailer. It is not the fanciest setup, but it is a working setup that makes money. So, because I have a trailer, I can't get as close to the vehicle sometimes as people that have vans. So I went with a 100 foot pressure washer hose so that if I have to park roadside and the person's car is in the driveway, I can reach it no problem. Got my air compressor, generator, I have a 3500 running watt generator, cord, extension cord, retractable reel, I have it plugged into this outlet strip that is plugged into the generator, I have some extra extension cords, my air hose with my tornador, a little set of drawers that has just like my tire cleaner, tire shine applicator, some applicators, random picks and clay bars, cotton swabs, my business cards so that if anybody walks up they're ready for me to hand out, light, just some random things. I have my drill brush my drill battery charging here are my towels my drying towels my interior towels my exterior mitt and towels a bucket that just has some random randomness my pressure washer it is still the first pressure washer that I started out with over a year ago it's just a plain greenworks 2000 psi it was under $200 it's been working great gets the job done the plumbing that I did myself from this 150 gallon water tank it is gravity fed so I just raised it up on some wooden blocks and then I have it feed down straight into the pressure washer and into the hose and it works great if you have any questions about any of that stuff, you can let me know in the comments and I can make a more in-depth video on like the plumbing or my generator or any of my little setup here. Let's go around the side. So I have the trailer fully decaled. It's got the RV style door on the side. Which is really nice now in here I have my vacuum my vacuum hose an extra pressure washer wand you never know when you need a backup my steamer small extractor extra gas for the generator this is a cart that I pull out to pull near to the 
customer's vehicle and it has all my random tools and brushes and some other chemicals hanging on the side it comes in real handy to have something near you to place things down while you're working buckets got three buckets for the traditional two bucket method I have a bucket that I use for rinseless washing as well just some random storage over here this cabinet is really nice from Harbor Freight it can fit lots of gallons in it lots of shelving space it's called an end locker and I got it at Harbor Freight it's got a drawer in the bottom that holds real well it doesn't come open when I'm moving driving the trailer locks on the top I just bungee corded a crate to put my trailer lock so that whenever I detach the truck my trailer is secure so like I said that was a quick overview of the trailer and the setup please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want a more detailed view of something or a question on how I put something together, or how I secured something in the trailer, put it down in the comments and I will try to make a video on that. And if you are in the Charleston area, feel free to take a look at my website and reach out to me to get your vehicle detailed. Thanks guys.